If China decides to launch a military campaign to take Taiwan, the whole thing could be over in less than an hour. This bold assessment comes from geopolitical expert Dmitry Alperovich, which he delivered to NBC News after dozens of Chinese warships, planes, and jets took part in some May drills. Drills designed as practice for an invasion. You're still going to move amphibious assault ships across the strait. Each of them can deliver about 800 troops and more importantly, dozens of troop transport helicopters as well as gunships to do an airborne assault. They can reach uh, the two airports within 10 to 15 minutes. Alperovich has a decent track record of predicting recent military aggression, like Russia invading Ukraine. In his new book, he claims China's invasion would be so fast, the U.S. could not immediately respond. He says Beijing would launch quick strikes from the air and sea. So a lot of people assume that this would be sort of a Normandy type of beach landing. The reality is that terrain does not allow it. In the wake of those military drills by China around Taiwan, a U.S. congressional delegation met with Taiwan's new president and promised more weapons that Taiwan already purchased from the U.S. were on their way to the island. I've reported on this pretty in-depth before, so be sure to check out some of our other stories at san.com. But basically, the United States is helping turn Taiwan into one of the most well-defended pieces of land, island or otherwise, on the planet. And those defenses will only improve in the face of increased Chinese aggression. China views Taiwan as its own sovereign territory. Taiwan maintains it's an independent nation, free from Beijing. Most experts outside of the region see a Chinese invasion leading to widespread economic impacts. Also, the United States is obligated to protect Taiwan in the event of a Chinese invasion, which could lead to direct conflict between the U.S. and China. This is why so much effort and emphasis is put on deterring China. For more stories on China's threats in the Indo-Pacific or for more reporting on Taiwan's island fortress mentality, download our Straight Arrow News app today or check us out at san.com. For Straight Arrow News, I'm Ryan Robertson.